Mayor Brown, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to India. It's great to be back in India. Yes. Uh, you just told me that you've done 20 trips to India since 2007. 20 trips to India. I, I consider India my second home from uh, as far north as Ladakh, where I played ice hockey, to the backwaters of Kerala. I've fallen in love with all of India. Can you believe that two friends of mine, Paul Dupis or Randstad, he's the MD of Randstad mm -hmm. in India, and the chairman of Volvo, they are going from 15th Jan till 19th Jan in Ladakh to play ice hockey. Uh, ice hockey. The Canadian High Commission organizes yeah. a tournament every year. Yes. I've been a few times. So anyone that tells you there's not ice hockey in India, they're wrong. Yes. There I is know. lots of ice hockey in the Himalayas. Yes. So tell me, about, apart from playing ice hockey yeah. in India and kind of building the relationships mm -hmm. between India and Canada in mm -hmm. multifaceted ways, what is your agenda of visit mm -hmm. this time? Well, first of all, it's a natural <coughs> relationship. The common uh, histories, uh, the Commonwealth tradition, uh, the, the, the legal system, uh, the belief in uh, multiculturalism, um, a mosaic of faiths. So there's a lot of mutual um, perspectives in India and in uh, Canada, you know, two vibrant democracies. What I'm here for is um, Brampton, uh, the community that I lead, uh, is the ninth largest city in Canada. It's the fastest growing big city. It's the most diverse. It's the youngest, just like India. We're the youngest big city in, in uh, Canada. But we have a particular affinity with, with India. There are more South Asians in Brampton than anywhere else in Canada. Some people joke that the capital of the Punjab isn't Chandigarh, it's actually Brampton. Uh, and so many of our residents their heart is still in India. And so these people to people connections are powerful. And we're here to build upon that, to say Brampton is open for business. There may be, right now, you, know, you talk about walls going up in some country and barriers that doesn't welcome immigration, that doesn't welcome um, sort of that inclusive politics. In, in Canada, it's very different. We, we have a welcome mat to the world. And I'm here in India to say to startups in the tech sphere, investors, come to Brampton. We welcome you with open arms. And there is opportunity. There is opportunity in Brampton in Canada. Fantastic. Uh, you talk about uh, inviting Indian tech entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs to set mm. Uh, base in Brampton. Mm -hmm. What would be the areas that you think uh, are naturally suited uh, for the kind of market mm -hmm. uh, access that Brampton offers? Not just the Brampton market, mm -hmm. but the access from. So, what are the some business areas where there is a natural kind of attraction and a fit? So, there's two sides to this. There's one: why would a, a startup or an investor in India want to come to Brampton? And two: what we're looking for. So, let me say. Um, why they'd want to come to Brampton. We're right, at the, we're right at the heart of the population base in Canada, next to the largest airport, all the key transportation hubs. We're an hour from the U.S. border, and we have preferential trade agreements in Canada, which means you can get the U.S. market without the headaches. You can get Europe um, with, with preferential access through our, our trade agreements. Uh, but we're also part of the Super Innovation Corridor. Canada has identified a part of the country which is focused on technology, and Brampton is in the middle of it. We've been named the National Center for Cybersecurity. Um, we've built our own co-working space. So if you're a startup in India, one, we can ep expedite your visa. Two, we can provide space for you to grow and succeed. And that's what we want. We want to create an environment in which you can grow higher and be successful. Um, in terms of the other angle, of what we're looking for, um, I'm really looking for the jobs of tomorrow. And what excites sure. me about startups is that with startups, they're coming up with an idea and they're determined and they're dogged. And that's what I love. If you look at some of the, you know, I was in Hyderabad the other day at T-Hub and it blew me away the way they've created an ecosystem there for technology companies to succeed. Just like they did in Hyderabad, we want to do that in Brampton. We're creating or building right now, as we speak, our own center for innovation. We already have our entrepreneur center. We have right now, we're building the cybersecurity center for all of Canada. Uh, and so what we're looking for is people that can fit in that ecosystem. If you want a stable investment, if you want a community that welcomes a technology and innovation, well, we're a perfect match for you. Fantastic. Uh, you know, we in India can always learn from mm. leaders across the world and in Canada mm. in being business friendly and proactive mm. in seeking investments mm. and seeking, you know, setting up business and mm. mm. locations. You're talking of Brampton. Uh, traditionally, India and Canada have collaborated in many areas. Mm. Um, 
what are some of the business areas that you, uh, the Canadian pension funds are investing into large Indian stocks, mm -hmm. they're investing into uh, very good quality assets in India, mm -hmm. and large investment, you look at what Brookfield is doing. You or Fairfax, you know, Fairfax. you look at Prem Watts, Prem a, bil Prem as really yeah. a billion dollars. Yes, yeah. and you know, he's possibly just got started, you mm -hmm. know, so Prem has invested mm -hmm. in multiple domains. So where do you think the Indian Canadian business cooperation beyond existing areas will progress to? So it really is a two-way street and so when I, when I mentioned Fairfax investment here it speaks to the fact that there are Canadians making significant investments in India because they believe this is of good value. What I'm really here to draw attention to is that there are great value on investments in Canada particularly in Brampton and, and Peel region. So if you look at uh, the sectors that um, are successful right now in, in Peel Region and Brampton, I'm looking at the food processing sector. I was at the Indus Food Fair uh, yesterday in, uh, in Noida. Um, we have a very vibrant food processing sector in Brampton that is the leader in, in North America. Um, we also have a successful medical uh, devices sector. And so if you're looking at investments in the, the medical devices area, uh, we're a natural fit. I'd also note in aerospace. So. MDA, which is does the Canada Space Arm. You're talking about uh, these are the highest tech jobs you can get. We're, we're, we're talking about science in, in space. That's done out of Brampton too. Um, we have a growing pharmaceutical s sector. So I think there are many opportunities where investments can be made in companies that are growing. Ultimately, if you want to make an investment, you, you, you want to get a good return. And I think there's a number of success stories in Canada where um, you can make investments uh, that would, would reap significant rewards. So if so, you know, again, there is a two kind of class of companies. Mm -hmm. One is startups, mm -hmm. where the size of operations may be small today and can be mm -hmm. really very big, and the others are established yeah. companies. Now, for a startup, what is the ticket size mm -hmm. for kind of getting started? Mm -hmm. What is the total cost of getting started? Uh, what kind of investment does the startup need to make? So, let me say, um, uh, first of all, uh, that uh, for the larger scale investments, I think companies do their own due diligence. What I'm really focused here on in India is the startups that you speak of. And the beauty is um, there isn't uh, a cost, there isn't a financial barrier. It's your drive and determination. If you've got a great idea, I'm here to say you can succeed in Canada. We have a, a program, the Startup Visa program, that enables people that are de dogged, determined, um, and are bright um, to have their success in Canada. Just like we've seen 171 startups succeed in Hyderabad at T-Hub, you can have that same type of success in the North American market, and there's no better place to launch into the North American market than, than in Brampton. Uh, if we met next year in 2021, in the next 12 months, what is the number of startups you think Brampton can attract? Is there a number, is there an expectation? So right now, our goal is to have over 50 startups from India located in Brampton in the next year. Um, and so I hope if I was talking to you in a year that we would have exceeded that number. It's an ambitious number, but we, we feel that uh, it's achievable. I want to focus a little bit on uh, the gig economy. You talked about startups creating the ideas of tomorrow, mm -hmm. and you want to get people to focus on jobs mm -hmm. of tomorrow. Of tomorrow. So we literally are in the gig economy where people are doing projects mm -hmm. or they're doing, you know, they're, they made their hobby their profession mm -hmm. and they're kind of engaged in that. Uh, give me one example of a sector that you believe is under leveraged in Canada Bram or in Brampton and Indians and Indian firms can really kind of create something special there. One area where there's a need and you believe India can really, or India? Well, it, it was a reference before where there's a natural opportunity in Brampton is we became the National Center for Cybersecurity Training. And cybersecurity, we're just looking at the tip of the iceberg right now. Obviously, um, crime, challenges, um, the digital warfare um, is escalating. Uh, right now, it's a $600 billion industry worldwide, and there's not the infrastructure out there to equip businesses with the protection they need. We just had the Canada-US Cybersecurity Conference in Brampton with all the top officials. And boy, it's an eye-opener. When you look at the cybersecurity challenges and where we are, it's a challenge. And so if, if I am a determined company right now, I'd say 
come to Brampton, work with our cybersecurity catalyst, uh, and there is a huge market. Um, there's not enough companies doing this, which means there's opportunity. And, and, the, and the, the best thing is this is a product that's needed. When I talk about the jobs of tomorrow, if you're out there trying to sell pagers and VHSs, you're not going to be successful. But, oh, it, no, it, no, it, no, but if you have a product that people need, there is a runway. And I think what you see in cybersecurity is there's a runway because there's a need and it's a product uh, that can offer benefit to businesses. Fantastic. So cybersecurity is an area where you believe that uh, there's a lot of opportunity mm -hmm and it can be the base for creating products and services for the world. For the world, and, yes. and Brampton's identified as the center for Canada. Um, we host the, the North American Conference. It's natural for a business that has a cybersecurity idea to come to Brampton to locate and succeed. So, you know, you talked about entrepreneurship early mm -hmm. on. What do you think we Indians can learn from Canadians, and what can Canadians learn from Indians? So one thing that I've always been um, impressed by in India is the determined entrepreneurialism that we see. You know, I, I've spoken at uh, several vibrant Gujarats, uh, the ones that the, uh, were hosted in Gandhinagar. Um, I've sp uh, attended Happening Har Haryana. And at these trade conferences, the way that India recognizes there's a market beyond India borders um, is impressive. Uh, so what I've learned from the Indo-Canadian uh, culture in my country uh, is an incredible work ethic and a sense of entrepreneurialism uh, that is inspiring. In terms of what you can learn from Canada, um, you know, Canada, if, if you look at things that we're proud about, we have a very stable economy. If you look at 2009 when, the, uh, when there was the world recession, none of our banks went under. Canada has a conservative culture where we're regulated, we're safe. Um, and so if you want to make, you want to see an environment where your investment is safe. One of the things that we're proud about in Canada is that th there's that sense of safety. We're a safe environment for investment. We've built a regulatory system that protects citizens, that protects uh, investments, and um, that's a refresh refreshing environment to, to, to be in. If you're looking at being successful so you can have retirement savings for your family, being in a country like Canada is a very refreshing environment to be you're in. You're saying in a VUCA world, yeah. Canada is stable, predictable and likely to stay. In a volatile world, Canada um, offers st stability that is refreshing. Mayor Brown, we wish you luck in your endeavor and I'm sure a lot of Indian companies and Indian startups would set base in Brampton. Well, thank you and so much. I look forward to interacting with you uh, in future. Of Until this. my next visit to India. Yes. Okay. Thank, thank you. you.